Pieces of the past disappear every day. Sometimes it is so gradual we barely notice. As I travel through the Twin Cities metropolitan area, I can't help but notice its constant expansion into the nearby rural areas. As an example, focus on the area within the red rectangle, which is from 2012. Moving forward to 2021, look at the change. A brand new subdivision was built, containing hundreds of new homes. Not that long ago, this area was prime Minnesota farmland, where generations of Minnesota families were raised. Farmers grew corn and alfalfa, in addition to raising dairy cows, poultry, and pigs. When I mentioned the Twin Cities metropolitan area before, Minneapolis and St. Paul are the Twin Cities. Their metropolitan area extends well beyond their borders, and the entire area is connected by an extensive highway system. On the southwest edge of this metropolitan area is the city of Carver, which is connected to the Twin Cities by Highway 212. 212 has been expanding to a four-lane road, almost like an interstate, toward Norwood, Young America. Building new highways and homes takes away farmland and eliminates century farms. Again, let's focus on this small parcel of land south of Highway 212 and west of the Jonathan Carver Parkway from 2012. Just to the east of this area is the city of Carver. Overall, not much development had occurred within the red rectangle yet. Moving forward nine years to the year 2021, look at the massive changes that have occurred within the red rectangle. Houses, businesses, schools, and parks have all sprung up, and the family farms have nearly been wiped away. Driving east along 212 during the fall of 2022, you can get a view of the new developments to the south. This is a view along the Jonathan Carver Parkway, looking to the west and south. A multitude of new homes lined the west side of the road. Non-native settlement in this area began in the 1850s, and this is one of the first maps of the area. Our focus area is sections 13 and 24 of Dahlgren Township. One landowner on this map was P. Wolf, so let's investigate him. Paul and Carolyn Wolf left Germany around 1837 and settled in eastern Pennsylvania. They had nine children, and remarkably, all were boys. Seven were born in Germany, while the last two were born in the United States. Paul, the father, died in an accident around 1845. Carolyn and most of her sons moved west to Minnesota from 1852 to 1855, settling on farms around the town of Carver. Carolyn died in 1865, and her sons lived most of their lives in Carver, Renville, or Stevens counties in southern Minnesota. Paul was the son who appeared on the 1874 Atlas of Minnesota, and Paul died in 1899. Another Carver County map was made in 1880, which also detailed sections 13 and 24 of Dahlgren Township. Paul Wolf still farmed just to the north of section 13. John Reesgraff was shown in the northeast quarter of section 24, and Lewis Olson was shown in the southeast quarter of section 13. This is an 1898 plat map of Carver County, showing sections 13 and 24 of Dahlgren Township. The Reesgraff family still lived in section 24, the Olson family still lived in section 13, and the Forner family now lived just to the west. By 1926, not too much had changed. The three families continued to own land in sections 13 and 24. So who were these families? 
let's take a closer look at the Reesgraph family. In this Google Earth image from 2012, the Reesgraph farmstead remained just to the east of the large gravel pit lake and just south of the Carver Fire Department. John Reesgraff was a native of Germany, but came to the United States in 1847. John married Catherine Mergen in Minneapolis and moved to their Dahlgren Township farm in 1866. The couple had nine children, seven of whom are shown here. Adam and Matthias both lived on the family farm for a while, but Adam died in 1930 and Matthias died in 1941. This, I believe, is the Matthias Reesgraf farmstead in 1937, 1964, 1991, 2012, and 2021. The original brick farmhouse was burned down in 2022. This is some video of that site. The Olson farm was north of the Reesgraf property. Lewis, or Lars, was a native of Norway. The farm passed to his son Andrew, who was born in a log cabin on the farm in 1857. Andrew's son Elvin later inherited the farm, which he ran for 41 years, before passing away in 1967. This was the Olson farm in 1937, 1964, 1991, 2012, 2017, and when it was gone by 2021. Here are a few pictures of the Olson farm from 2011, before it was torn down. The Forner Farm sat off a ways from the Jonathan Carver Parkway. Joseph Forner's parents were born in Germany. Joseph and Catherine purchased the Dahlgren Farm around 1879. The farm was handed down to Joseph F. and then to Donald J., who passed away in 2011. The Forners specialized in raising Guernsey cows. This is the Forner Farmstead in 1937, 1964, 1991, 2012, and 2021. The buildings on the Forner Farm were torn down in the fall of 2022 for a new housing development. Here's some video of the farm before it was torn down.
As time goes on, developments will continue to expand, and additional history will be lost. Make sure to appreciate it before it is gone. That concludes the video. Make sure to check out my other YouTube videos and my primary website at mnbricks.com.